So congratulations for this World Cup. You were you were this close to being, you know, you're the top striker ja, of, of the whole World World Championship. How, how does does make you feel? Das interessiert mich alles nicht, der Scheißdreck. <lacht> Weltmeister sind wir, den Pott haben wir. Okay. Den Scheiß der goldenen Schuhe kannst du da hinter den Ohren schmieren. Everybody can see what, what our aim is now. Um, so it's all about the top two, it's all about automatic now, is it? We, we want to get it, no, like, whether it's top two or whether it's through the playoffs. That. Just finally, Jermaine, there's a fair bit of transfer speculation about you. Where do you see your own future? What shirt am I wearing, bruv? Are you being serious? And you mean you've made your name as a wheeler and dealer. There's not no, been much not, wheeling and no, dealing, no, here, has not, it? No, I'm not a wheeler and dealer. <laughs> no, fuck off. Oh, oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. No, I've got a name as a no, wheeler and dealer. No, I'm not. Fucking dealer. Don't, even, right. don't say that. I'm a fucking football manager. You know, for me, we are where we are as a group. I've, I've come under criticism individually from, from certain players, individuals, you know, players who, who, I, who I've looked up to, played alongside you know, and, and take it on the chin 100%. You know, the likes of Rio, Cara, Neville, we're talking at the very best that, that I've seen and come across in the game. I sit there and listen and, and take everything in and try and, and try and improve that. I don't look at that in a negative way. When certain other people speak, yeah, maybe not. Maybe I don't listen. Maybe I don't take it on the chin when players have not had a career, have, have played at a really bad level throughout their career and, and come for people that have achieved what I've achieved in the game. Um, you know, Robbie Savage being one. <laughs> it's, you know, he, he's dug me out a couple of times and it's, listen, as a footballer, an individual, you, you take it. And as I said, I'll take it all day long from the very best, the Rios, the Carragers, the Nevilles. All day long, I'll take it. Other people, no. You told us a few years back, as a footballer, you are 10 out of 10. What about now? 11 out of 10. You got better. Much better. What about as a person? How much out of 10? 20 out of 10. As a person? Yes. Okay. Um, can you finish these sentences for me? Usain Bolt is... He's first. Donald Trump is... I don't care. Muhammad Ali is... The best ever, the greatest. He's my idol. Would you trade one of your league titles for a Champions League trophy? No. What about your Taekwondo black belt? It's, it's, it looks good on the wall. <laughs> Which city have you most enjoyed living in? Paris. Even if you can't tell us today, do you know where you'll be playing next yes. season? <laughs> <laughs> the problem for me is that, and Manchester United, is that the profile of the club is huge. Well, no, like, you know, I mean, uh, Alan Pardew's come out and criticised me. Alan Pardew's the worst at ranking referees. His whole staff, every game, he was at it the whole game on, 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 on Wednesday. He shoves a referee and makes a joke of it, and he's got a cheek to criticise me. It's unbelievable. He forgets the help I gave him, by the way. So... I think the press have had a good field day out of it. They've, they've, they've addressed every possible avenue. The only one they've left to is Barack Obama. He's too busy. <laughs> and, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. I carry that because I'm the manager of the most famous club in the world. I'm not in Newcastle, a wee club in the North East. Yeah, but... I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. that. I didn't say that. It's my colleague. I respect my colleague. And colleague can play like... Uh, look at me when I talk to you. Yeah, look at me when I talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, but I'm talking to you. You don't look at me. You look that. So I am, tra I, I am trying to explain. I am trying to explain. One or two final questions because we have to leave. Really good, eh? <laughs> yeah, it was good, um, and I hope it's not too serious. We will see. They spoke about a little cramp or whatever, yeah, but you are longer here than myself, and I did know this word before I came to England, but hamstring is 
the shit world of the year for me. Uh, it's always hamstring, hamstring, hamstring. Today was his day, his, his finishing was very clinical today and was as a team could have had yeah, two or three more. He missed a chance for a hat-trick with that little chip over the bar, didn't he, first off? What, what were you thinking at that point? I still had confidence that he could go and get the third. Yeah, that's what type of player he is, you know, he misses chances but he keeps going. Um, I was just about to have a goal um, with the after goal. Yeah, I was just about to, on the tip of my tongue to give him a ball and then it turned it into a round of applause. <laughs> OK, well, apologies for the language, but we know what you mean. What's it like? Unbelievable, uh, really. Uh, words can't describe it, you know. we have worked hard all season and we've won it. I just can't believe it. I'm just, you know, look at the fans. Fuck you. They've been there since day one. I just can't believe it. It's unbelievable. Was that your best game you've ever played for Manchester City? I say that I play all my season was shit. Can I say that? My season wasn't good. Boys, Brian, get that ball, move that ball. We, we lost Festival with a knee injury, a ligament injury, he's having a scan today, I'm just hoping it's not as serious as we think it might be, so he's certainly not going to be around. Harry Anderson's done a groin. Still got control of him when you're not looking. you kicked that over here? Huh? What? You try to kick it in the goal and you hit me? There's some fucking brains, didn't you? Sorry, Harry, just the last word then on, on Wolves. It, it's a it's a big game, a game at Molyneux, big crowd. Uh, it, it's a big match for you. Yeah, it's a big match. No wonder he's in the fucking reserves. So, yeah, uh, Wednesday, big game at Wolves. Yeah, big game. Unfortunately, the game... Well, Mick, an extraordinary finish. What did you make of it? Oh, it was just great to be out there. Fucking, I, I, I just can't believe it. One minute it was one nil down, and then last minute I got the goal. So not not much more I can ask for, really. Well, you're a young lad, and uh, we can understand your excitement. But uh, this is going up to a national audience, so be careful what you say. <laughs> I think they think me realise one day who's who's produced more players for their country than any other club in the world, and maybe get some joy from it at some point in their lives. Realise how important we are to England. You understand? The treat is like <laughs> But we're pleased for the players because they deserve to be there. They're outstanding. So um yeah we're all pleased. He doesn't count too much and then he scores the winning goal for the championship. I mean football is fucking unbelievable. Careful you like careful if you like I do. Someday I hope they're gonna sleep and uh, I hope that is bad to, to, things, to, to say things like that, but uh, fortunately for us, I hope that will, they will get some injured, very important player injured, like what's happening with us, because we can, we, people don't doesn't, doesn't see it, doesn't speak about this, but every time you have like players injured, important players, they get injured when there is important games. So if that happening with them as well, maybe we'll get a little difference, you know, a little, um, how can I say, a little touch that makes them uh, weaker.